Does your computer struggle with 4K footage? Do you have to create proxies to make it work right in Adobe Premiere? Today I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can save time by creating those proxies in camera with the Sony A6400. And that video is coming up next. Hey guys, it's Brian the Camera Guy back here with another video. If you're new to my channel, I review Sony gear and accessories and also make videos like this one. A quick tips video on how to save time by creating proxies right in camera. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing below. And on your way down there, don't forget to hit the like button and give me a comment on how you create your proxies for your 4K footage. So like I said, in this video today, we're gonna to talk about how to create proxies in camera and then how to ultimately get them on your computer and use them with Windows 10. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video and I'm gonna give you a guide that will give you the step-by-step walkthrough process so you can easily refer back to it. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video for that. So the first thing you wanna do is turn on proxy recording. So if you have one of the new Sony a6400s or an a7 III or any of those later cameras, you can definitely turn on proxy recording. In the new menu system, you wanna to go to tab two, page one, and then you wanna to go to proxy recording down here at the bottom, turn those on. Now, anytime you record 4K footage, it's automatically gonna record proxies right to your memory card. Does it use up extra memory card space? For sure but it's gonna save you a heap of time as you go and import your footage onto your computer. I'm gonna show you a little hack on how you could easily import that footage and all those proxies so that you can save time and you don't have to wait for those proxies to render in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's go ahead, jump into the computer, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see here, I already have some footage set up, downloaded this footage right from the camera. One of the things that you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and dump in all your proxy files. So now what you're gonna wanna do, now you imported all your regular footage, and then you're also gonna go to that subfolder on your memory card. That subfolder is gonna contain all those proxies that you've now created. Once you dump in the subfolder, what you wanna do is go ahead and open it up. And what you'll notice is, is that all the file names are the same as your video name, but they have S03 at the end. So you, we're gonna have to change that. Now you're in Windows, you could go through, you could change those one by one uh, by hitting F2, and then you could change to, uh, to whatever Adobe needs. So I'm gonna show you exactly what Adobe needs. First off, the folder we wanna create here is we want the folder name to be proxies. So just like that. And then once you go inside of it, like I said, you're gonna notice that all the file names have S03 at the end. So in order for Adobe to use these as proxies and to speed up our workflow, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to hold shift, right click, and go to open PowerShell window here. Once you're in here, you're gonna get this dialog box. So now that you have this window up, what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this in right from your guide. So once we copy it in, we're gonna paste it in here. So I'm using a control C and a control V to copy and paste. Once you're in here, I'm gonna slide this down so you can see. Watch all these S03s turn into underscore proxy. And there you go. Now you have all the proxy files. You can go ahead and close this out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch Adobe Premiere and we're gonna create a new project. All right, I'm gonna go ahead here and create a new project. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my file here. So go ahead and create your program however you want. Save it wherever you want. Go ahead and comment down below. Do you want me to show you how I organize my footage and my projects to help maximize my workflow? Comment down below and maybe I'll make that for my next quick tips video. Now that you have your project open, go ahead and dump in all of your footage. And now, because you've already created that proxy folder, it's gonna dump in that footage as well. But we're gonna go ahead and delete that. We don't need that in our project bin, so we'll go ahead and delete that. All right, so now we have all our footage imported. You'll notice that we have some, we have 24 frames 4K, and then we also have down here at the bottom some 120p slow motion. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take everything that's 4K and we're gonna highlight it all. Now, typically what you could do is you could right click and you could go to proxy, create proxy, and then Adobe would create its own proxies, but then you'd have to sit here and wait for those proxies to render and it would slow down your computer in the meantime. But we've already created this proxy folder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach proxies. So we go ahead and click that. Now you only need to select the top one. So that one's already selected as you can see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click attach it's automatically gonna find that proxy folder for you. Now, if it doesn't, you're gonna have to go through here and search your proxy folder, but for me, it's already done that. And then notice here that I'm 
trying to attach proxies for C0291.mp4. So I just need to find the proxy that corresponds with that, and it's right up here. So let's go ahead and hit OK. So now that you've created all your proxies and attached those to the footage, we're gonna go ahead and dump this in the timeline and it's gonna create a new timeline. So now that you have a new timeline, we can check to make sure that the proxies are working properly. If you haven't already, make sure you click this plus button and here's your toggle proxies. It kinda looks like a little bit of a world thing, but uh, it's basically one video clip beyond another video clip. Go ahead and click it, drag it down here to your bin. I already have it down here and when it's blue, it's clicked on. So you wanna make sure that that's blue. So now you can check and see if these proxies are working properly. First, what you wanna do is go ahead and let's zoom in to let's say a thousand percent. I'm gonna go to full resolution here and I'm gonna turn these proxies off. And if you watch, when I turn the proxies off, it's gonna sharpen up a little bit. And there it goes, it sharpened up for you. Turn it back on and you're good to go. You can check uh, pretty much any one of, the, of your videos to make sure that your proxies are working properly. Toggle on, there's toggle off, there's toggle on. So as you can see, um, your proxies are all attached and we went ahead and sped up that workflow. So now you can go ahead and enjoy some smooth editing while still using those 4K files. Now, Adobe's gonna automatically reattach those 4K files when you go ahead and export, so don't fear that. Your proxies are now up and running. If you have any specific questions, go ahead and hit me up on Instagram at Brian the Camera Guy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a like, comment down below, subscribe to see more, ring that bell notification so you don't miss out on my future videos. If you wanna pick up the step-by-step -step guide, it's gonna be right up over here. If you wanna see another video from my channel, click right down here. This has been a quick tips video on how to make proxies with your brand new Sony camera. Thanks for watching.